Yes, yes, I'm back. We never watch these little, you know, when there's commentary over the videos. There's going to be commentary over this one. I thought I'd give it a go. These are plastic surgeries that went a bit wank. Pixie Fox is a self-proclaimed body modification right. artist inspired to look like Hollywood. What the fuck? She just looks like she's got a rubber band around her. It's like the watermelon challenge where they put rubber bands around her. She calls herself the living cartoon. She looks like a living cartoon, babe. She looks like a bowling pin. She's had a whole host of surgeries to achieve what she believes to be total perfection, including having six ribs removed. Uh, that's just, I'm sorry, that's just disgusting. Further accentuate her They're just stupidly big. They just and just look like melons, Bev, like bowling balls. That's jarring. She wears a tightly bound. Oh, Bev, that's disgusting. That's actually tap. Look at the size of her wrist and the size of that. Like three of her wrists. Get three of these. That's how big her waist is. That is tapped. That slims her waist to a shocking 16 inches. What did they do? They did not even remove anything. Like, did they genuinely just tie a belt around her there and it all went into her tits and now she's just super compressed. By wearing the corset in combination with her strict diet and daily workout routine. Bruv, that is disgusting. If she benches too much, she's just going to snap back because there's simply not enough, like, she hasn't even got a rib cage, Bev. She's div div divided her rib cage to have... You know what I mean? A bit of curves. She hopes to achieve the world record for smallest waist by getting down to around 14 inches very soon. Well, when she's pregnant, it's just gonna look like a tumor hanging off her body. To date, she has spent over $120,000 on 15 separate surgeries. To be fair, that's not as expensive as I thought it'd be, because like, it's made out to be so expensive. If she's completely owed herself for 100 grand, like, yeah, don't get me wrong, it's very expensive, but it's not as expensive as I'd, I expected, to be honest. I thought it'd be in the millions. People walk up to her all the time to tell her she looks like a cartoon character according to her that's a compliment that's just disgusting rev like her breasts are sticking out so much she's like she's got a fucking modification bumper and she looks like a subaru justin jedlica wants to be the human version of mattel's ken doll and well, why have they all got some inspiration why do you want to be that guy like, what do you see of that guy and think oh yeah i want to be that guy it looks like purge has had over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of surgeries okay well he got ripped off because this just doesn't look like as advanced as the other one he says his ultimate Goal is oh, that's what he wanted to look like. percent plastic. Justin's extensive list of surgeries include five nose jobs and augmentations to his cheeks, lips, buttocks, and chin. Why does he want to be plastic? Why would you not just want to be human? My Porsche. Don't ask me why I've got a toy car. I bought it today. It's quite cool. This is plastic. This is nothing. Plastic's useless. We're on top. Plastic's like just down there, Bev. Why would you choose to be plastic? And every time he goes swimming, he's just going to be a threat to the turtles. But his triceps, biceps, and even his chest are all silicone implants. He says that he has a reputation of being one of the most extreme plastic surgery addicts in the world. Well, that's going to be so awkward in the gym, like, or in an arm wrestle. Yeah, go on, mate. I don't think I can arm wrestle you. They give it a go, and he's just going to crack because he's built of plastic. During one surgery, he risked the chance of going blind as he wanted to remove some unsightly forehead veins. The Why would you choose to nearly go blind to remove some veins? What's wrong with veins? A bit of cable management in there. It's all under there. Like, you're not going to see veins. Who cares about veins? Surgery had to be performed through his eyelids, and the tool used uh. to burn the veins came dangerously close to his retinas. The 35-year-old has had over 190 different surgeries. He doesn't even look hench. Jenny just looks like a Pepsi bottle. Okay, what the fuck is that? Some garden gnome, Bev. Jocelyn Wildenstein was afraid that her billionaire husband would leave her if she looked too old. So Wildenstein spent about $4 million on plastic surgery to alter her appearance to look more feline. What's Known going on here? Manhattan Cat Lady. She's had her face pulled back so much that the placement of her eyes have been permanently altered. How do they even do plastic surgery? I'm so glad today. they add stuff, moves. So I don't get it. Is it literally Photoshop? She wanted to do this because her husband loved the look of exotic wild cats. And so you spent all that to look like a fucking cat. Do you know what I mean? I like the look of a, like an Audi R8. But I don't want my woman to pull up one day with a fucking V10 inside of her, do I? Fortunately, her plan backfired. In 1997, she caught her husband having sex with a 19-year-old Russian model. <laughs> That's such an L. Can you imagine not only ruining your relationship, but ruining your face? They soon divorced. She was awarded. So imagine she spent all that money to look like a fucking cat. Or for him to just go for a standard default. Like, she got clickbaited hard.
$2.5 billion in the divorce settlement and $100 million a year in alimony. Well, maybe she can spend that towards getting rid of her plastic surgery. And continues to get more surgeries to further emphasize her feline features. Wait, why don't you just de-emphasize? Why don't you go back to the good old days, the glory days where you looks nice? You just, what the fuck? You don't even look that different. You just look a bit weird. You look like a man. Toby Sheldon, whose real name was Tobias Strebel, was obsessed with looking like Justin Bieber. He appeared on the TV shows Botched, The Doctors, and My Strange Addiction. Showcase. Why would you want to look like Justin Bieber? He's not, he's like, he just looks like that. He always looks like that. Why would you dedicate your life to looking like someone? What a fucking loser. Seeing his love for Justin Bieber and surgery. Is he gay? In an interview, he was asked what it would take for him to stop his obsession. Well, I can't lie. I get where they're coming from, but bro, he doesn't look like Justin Bieber at all, man. I can definitely tell them apart. Like, bro, you need to get a refund or something, bro. He bluntly replied, if I die, I guess. In the summer of 2015, the 35 year old went missing for three days after a breakup with his boyfriend. He was later found oh, dead so in a gay. Motel 6, surrounded by drugs. Can you imagine just spending all that money to look like Justin Bieber? Or to kill yourself. Like, no, no, rest in peace and all that. But or to kill yourself. Fuck it now. Just firm it. Oh my god, it's Andrew Tate. Jordan James Park has an obsession with Kim Kardashian. Well, he's fucking blind then, love, because what the fuck? Imagine you look at that, you're not thinking of Kim Kardashian, you're thinking of breakfast. Andrew Tate, depression. To look like his idol, he's had over 50 plastic surgeries, totaling about $150,000 over a four year span. Well, has he seen Kim Kardashian? Like, have you actually seen her before, lad? Like, do you know what she looks like? She doesn't fucking look like you. He got rid of his eyebrows with laser hair removal and had cartoon like eyes. Uh, that is not a pleasant sight. Bro, it just looks like organs. The 23 year old Englishman routinely receives lip injections to give him the appearance that he's always passed. But bro, like, if he's got a tattooed on eyebrows, when he gets old and he's 70 and like, or he's like basically falling apart, I was gonna say his hair goes grey, but what hair, Rev? It's gonna be some wrinkly mess, but he's gonna have bright black eyebrows. Last year, he revealed that he's had so many lip and face injections that he can't really move his face. He also <laughs> admits that his massive lips have been leaking fluid from the sides because of all the injections. <sighs> Like, tell me how this man looks like Kim Kardashian. Like, I just don't see it. Despite all of this, he has no plans to stop making his lips bigger than they already are. Bro, just stop trying. You're not gonna be Kim Kardashian. You're never gonna be Kim Kardashian. You look like Kimo Kardashian. There's Michael Jackson. Pete Burns is the Pete Burns. singer of British pop band Dead or Alive. Clearly got his face burnt by acid, because what the fuck? The band found mainstream success with their 1985 single, You Spin Me Round. Burns is- You spin my head right round, right round. Is it that song? Also, sorry about my mic. Um, I don't know why I haven't fixed it. I know how to fix it. I'm just pissing you lot off intentionally. Known for his ever-changing, often androgynous appearance, which he freely admits has been greatly modified by cosmetic surgery. It looks like a fucking cake from Greg's. He once accused pop star boy George of trying to copy what he looked like. <laughs> You look like any rock star. I can accuse Mohammed from down the street for trying to look like the famous YouTuber Ramps. We all look the same, Rev. In an interview, he once stated, People redecorate their homes every few years, and I see this as no different. Jake. No, fuck off. Like, no. <laughs> Bro, he's talking like he's modifying a whip. Is he gonna get a beard, like, from these fat ass shit? Like, it doesn't even look good. Fair enough if you're doing plastic surgery to look better. You look fucking wank. Who are these guys? Kayla Morris and her mother Georgina Clark are obsessed with It's literally just Harvey Price with wig and a makeup. The looks of British model Katie Price. So oh! Oh! See, I, I'm close because, bro, how I called it. So fair enough, there is a bit of the Price um, jeans. Because I guessed that out of nowhere. I don't have a clue. And she does look like Katie Price there. I see where she's coming from. At the age of 17, Kayla started dancing at a local strip club. Although huh. she's made a lot of money from that, her real financial backing came from various sugar daddies she would meet at the club. That's so generic, Bev. Like, oh, she used to be a stripper, then she had sugar daddies, and now she looks like Katie Price. They both have had nose jobs. Wow. How? How would you even fall in love with someone, and then one day they just, they just don't look like that anymore? They look like this fucking thing. 
like a fucking is it real or cake georgina is forever grateful that her daughter pays for her surgeries and believes that they are both living out their dream this is their dream to look like most girls in nottingham on a saturday night look like anyway she says when we walk down the street everyone looks at us and comments on our huge lips but they're still not big enough for us why do you want massive lips bev like stop sucking dick Okay, what the fuck is that? If you she got fucking plastic surgery, love, get a refund. You look like Robbie Rotten. 48-year-old Raji Narayansen is a transgender woman who was a victim of- I can't be fucking asked. If I say the wrong thing now, I'm straight off the platform. So we're skipping that for our own safety. Like, those guys have ruined it for everyone. Hang Miyoku right, Hang Miyoku. Having smooth skin. At the age of 20 Just get some lotion then. She, had she looks smooth. Injected into her face to supposedly smooth out her wrinkles. Over the coming years, she would inject more and more. Uh, but I'm so scared of noodles. Came puffy and inflamed. At one point, doctors refused to perform any more injections on her. She's gonna turn into a fucking balloon, Bev. In her desperate attempt to look beautiful, she decided oh. to self-inject. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you service your whip at home when she ran out of money for silicone she resorted to using cooking oil her decision would yield a dis uh, imagine fucking trying to look like well you know what i mean have smooth skin but you didn't want to wear lotion and now you genuinely look like a fucking zombie her story was featured on korean television and viewers made donations to afford her some sort of corrective surgery bev you know when i don't talk that's when even i've got my own opinions like fucking hell you just you look shit. During the first of the 10 operations, surgeons removed 260 grams of silicone, oil, and other foreign substances. Bro, at this point, just fucking finish her off. Just inject fucking heroin into her overdose and fucking write it clean off, mate. And neck. Now in her fifth oh, yeah, so much better now, Rev. Ironically, she works at a second-hand store called The Beautiful Shop. Well, fucking hell, I don't take tips of her. She looks like she's permanently in shell shock. So, yeah, that's the end of that video. Drop a like. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ramps Was Taken. This video was white.